as you know by the bulletin, the subject of our message today is Jesus only is our message. 呃，大家看见在这个这个这个讲道笔记里面，我们看了今天讲道的题目是主题是唯独耶稣是我的信息。Now last week, uh, we saw how Paul was combating a, a, a heresy. 呃，上个星期我们在讲道的时候讲到说，当时的保罗是如何与异端邪说征战。Now the heresy was brought by Jewish Christians. 这这种这个异端呢，是由犹太教背景的基督徒带到这个教会里头来的。They were saying that the Gentile, the new Gentile Christians, had to be circumcised. 呃，他们宣扬什么呢？就是。呃，那些外邦的基督徒也应该像犹太人一样行割礼。Uh, Just believing in Jesus wasn't enough. 呃，你仅仅信耶稣那还不够。When uh, they said that, they were implying that Jesus' death was not sufficient. 呃，他们凡凡是在推行割礼的这种事事情的人，实际上他们在暗示一一件事情，就是说耶稣在十字架上的死呢还不够。they were saying that his death on the cross could not make them right with God. It could make them better, but not absolutely right with God. Certain things had to be added to believing in Jesus. Now, listen to this. The Jewish Christians had already left the law. 呃，但是大家要注意到一个背景，就是那些犹太教背景的基督徒，他们实际上自己已经离开这个律法了。呃，They were trusting in Jesus. 他们自己也是信耶稣的。呃，They had, they had stopped, uh, offering, um, animal sacrifices. 呃，首先一件事情，他们自己已经不再去献这些动物的这些祭物了，这些牺牲了。and they were worshiping on Sunday and not on Saturday. 而且他们跟犹太人不一样，他们也是在星期天聚会啊，不是在星期六聚会。You see, those things they were doing was uh, against the the Jewish religion. 所以这些犹太教背景基督徒自己已经在做跟犹太教的这个教导不相符合的这些行为方式。But they were not able to remove from their mind and their hearts that that that. Religion and culture that they had grown up in. 但是这些犹太教背景的基督徒要从新思一年里面完全的抹掉原来的旧的宗教习俗在他们这个里面所留下来的这些深刻的烙印。When they thought of God, they thought of God being in the temple there in Jerusalem. 当他们想到神的时候，他们自然而然这个头脑突然会就是会想起在圣殿里面的耶路撒冷的圣殿里头的耶和华。and um, and naturally, being Jews, they continued to circumcise their boys. So, But now here they made a mistake. They were thinking that that circumcision was part of their religion. And they didn't see any reason for stopping uh, circumcising their boys. So in their minds, they thought that to be a Christian, you have to be circumcised also. So in their minds, they thought that to be a Christian, you have to be circumcised also. That they were, um, they had forgotten what the meaning of circumcision was for the Jews. They have been doing this for 1500 years. And so now these people were thinking it was part of their religion. But if you go back into the Old Testament, into Genesis, 
you find out that circumcision was given to Abraham as a sign. 呃，但是如果你到旧约圣经里去看，比方说在创世纪，这个耶和华跟呃亚伯兰说要行割礼的时候，实际上只是一个一种一种象征。It was given to them as a sign of a covenant between Abraham and God. 这一种什么象征呢？这个割礼是象征亚伯兰和上帝之间所立的约。That covenant was that God would be His God. 这个立的约，上帝和亚伯拉罕立的什么约呢？他说：“我要，我是你的神。” And he and his descendants would be God's people. 然后呢，你亚伯拉罕和你的后裔是我的百姓。And that 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 covenant was given 500 years before the law was given. 所以这个割礼的这个吩咐是耶和华给亚伯拉罕，是在什么呢？是在摩西的律法之前五百年就告诉他了。It was not part. Of their religion, so it actually is, uh, this Gerli, 根本就不是犹太教的一个宗教或者信仰的一部分。So God had called Abraham and says, "I want you to go over to this other country." Uh, 当年耶和华呼召亚伯兰说，我要让你去外国。And God had to explain to Abraham. 这个耶和华没有解释给亚伯兰听为什么哪里去。Anything about why he should go to that? 呃，他根本没有说你为什么要离开你的本家本族。And if you read the history, the history in in Genesis, he keep telling him that Abraham, I'm going to give you this land to as to be your country. 如果你是读圣经的，你就很清楚，在创世纪里面，他不停的耶和华不停的跟他讲说，我要把这片的地地这个赐给你，而且你要成为大国。But the law was not given until Abraham was dead, Isaac was dead,、uh, Jacob was dead, and the、uh, children of Jacob had developed into a great、uh, nation. 呃，但是这个当年耶和华叫他行行割礼的时候，那律法还要五百年以后的事儿。那要到什么时候呢？律法颁下来的时候是亚伯拉罕已经死了，他的儿子以撒也死了，他的孙子雅各也死了，一直到他的这个曾孙、玄孙都变成一个很大的一个以色列民族的时候，在西南山他才颁律法。But these Jews, uh, they said, okay, we see what Jesus has done, and so now. Anybody who's going to follow Jesus has to follow Jesus the same way that we're doing. 但是呢，这些犹太人的基督徒呢，很很有有一种错误的观点，认为说，既然我们是这么下来，祖宗上就这么一传下来了，所以呢，要成为基督徒的话，就应该像我们一样，不但相信他，还要行割礼。And so、uh, we are always uh, uh, circumcised, therefore the Gentiles should be circumcised. 因为我们犹太人都给我们的儿子行割礼，那么你们外邦人也要行做同样的事。But the 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 sign of circumcision was. Basically, or only that that sign showed that you were a Jew. Oh, 但是他他他们忘记一件事情，就是你给自己的儿子行割礼，没不代表其他，就只是证明你的儿子是个犹太人罢了。And it was not that part of the Jewish religion. 所以我们再总结一下，这割礼根本就不是犹太教里面的一部分。So now they met Jesus. And they thought that this this new way was wonderful. Um, now, now, these Jewish Christians, they 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 met Jesus. Ah, they thought that this new way was wonderful. So that anybody who would follow this new way, they must follow this way completely, exactly the same way that they were doing. Ah, that if they would follow this way completely, exactly the same way that they were doing. Ah, that if they would follow this way completely, exactly the same way that they were doing. Ah, that if they would follow this way completely, exactly the same way that they were doing. Ah, that if they would follow this way completely, exactly the same way that they were doing. Ah, that if they would follow this way completely, exactly the same way that they were doing. Ah, that if they would follow To be like them. So their goal is only one: that these Jewish Christians, they said, "Oh, we have to follow the same way that the other Jews were following." Ah, they saw that these Jewish Christians, they saw that they they saw that there were Gentiles believing in Jesus. Ah, these Jewish Christians also saw that these Gentiles believed in Jesus. Ah, these Jewish Christians also saw that these Gentiles believed in Jesus. Ah, these Jewish Christians also saw that these Gentiles believed in Jesus. Ah, these Jewish Christians also saw You remember that when Jesus went to met the Samaritan woman, 
。呃，大家还记得在《约翰福音》记载一个故事，就是当耶稣去见到这个撒玛利亚女人的时候。And he asked her for a drink of water. 他跟那个撒玛利亚妇人要一要要一点水喝。And and the, and the Samaritan woman says, "How come you, a Jew, ask me, a Samaritan woman, for a drink?" 呃，大家还记得当时这个撒玛利亚女人是这样回答耶稣的。她说：“为什么你一个犹太的男人跟我一个外邦的女人来要水喝 ？”Jews, Jews and Samaritans don't talk to each other. 那个时候的犹太人和撒玛利亚人是他们连彼此讲话都不讲了。And you go back into the law that uh, that uh, Moses gave, and it told the Jews that they are supposed to separate them themselves. From all the rest of people in the world. 而且也许你很熟悉，在旧约圣经里面，耶和华通过摩西吩咐他的百姓说：“你们要成为万民中独居的民，你们不要跟其他的民族来往。” And so, in the minds of the Jews, the Gentiles were all Gentile sinners. 啊，所以在犹太的这个头脑里面，认为这些外邦人都叫什么？都叫外邦的罪人。But here now, were Gentiles believing? In Jesus, like they were believing in Jesus. 但是这些犹太教背景基督徒很惊讶的一件事情，看见这些外邦人跟他们一样，也都信耶稣了。现在 ，But you see, there was still this old separation there. 但是呢，这个以前外邦人和犹太人之间老死不相往来的这个，尤其是犹太人瞧不起外邦人的这个旧旧的这个障碍还在。So it is possible that these、uh, Jewish Christians they wanted to heal the division, the schism. That was between the uh, uh, the Jews and the Gentiles. 呃，当然，这些犹太教的背景的基督徒，他们还是想要把这个当中的障碍和这个隔隔阂除掉。所以他们说，你要是行割礼，就跟我们一样，那就没有没有隔阂了。But this is why they're making the mistake. 但是呢，这也就是他们的这个错误所在。They said, "We'll have to heal that division, but we'll heal it in our way." 他说：“我们现在呢，要解除这一个这个隔隔绝和这个分裂的状况。但是呢，我们用什么方法呢？是用我们的方法来解决这个问题。You see, they were not asking God what to do. 他们没有到神那里问上帝到底要怎样做才可以让外邦教会和犹太教会合而为一。You see, when we started this church here, we asked God, what shall we do? 大家记得四年前我们刚刚这个教会刚刚诞生的时候，我们也求求问神说我们要做什么。And when God told us to do it, we did it. 当神吩咐我们做什么，我们就做什么。And if God hadn't told us, we didn't do it. 当神没有告诉我们做什么的时候，我们没有做，就不去做什么。And you look back in Jewish history, and、uh, so many of the kings of Israel, uh, when they were threatened by an invasion. Some of them did not ask God how they should meet this this threat. 呃，我们在这个圣经旧约圣经里面看到过，在历史上以色列的历史上有很多过这样很很不幸的这个例子，就是什么呢？当他们有外敌这个侵犯或者威胁的时候呢，这些犹大和以色列的很多的君王不是到耶和华那里去问他们该怎么行。But they they thought that they used their own intelligence and they started to.、Uh, And they made their decisions. Ah, they are not to Yahweh. They are using what? Using their own intelligence, using their own smarts, using their own plans to try to solve this problem. Some you folks who have read your Bibles、uh, will remember the story of AI. Ah, if you have read the Bible, you will remember the story of AI. Ah, if you have read the Bible, Yeah, yeah, yeah. AI is easier to say. So <laughs> yeah, how? And、um, the the Jews had come across the、uh, Jordan River. Ah, 那个时候犹太人是过了这个约旦河 ，and they came up to Jericho. 他们到了这个耶利哥 ，and God told them, He says, now to go to, to when you get to Jericho, He says, you must go walk around the city once. 那个时候，耶耶和华吩咐他们做什么呢？说你们到了耶利哥，就绕着耶利哥城，就这样去走。You must carry the you must carry the ark, and the and the priests with trumpets, and then the soldiers following them, and go around the go around the city. 哦，你们就要一支小小的队伍，前面是有约柜，然后有祭司在前面吹喇叭。
，然后后面呢有一些士兵跟着，就这么绕着耶利哥去转转悠。Don't attack the city. 你们不要去进攻这个城市。Just go around it. 你们就这么就是就在那么走就好了。And do that for six days. 你们这样转悠六天。And each day just go around once. 你们就不停的就在那里转悠，就只要转悠一一天一次就好了。Then on the last day. Uh, they had to walk around seven times. 到了第七天，他们要围绕着这个城呢走七次。And then,、uh, when they had gone around seven times, then、uh, Joshua was to say, "Shout!" 当第七次的时候呢，约书亚会发命令说，大家一起高声的喊叫。And everybody shouted. 到那个时候呢，所有以色列人一起大声的喊叫。And the walls of the city. 圣经记载，历史上也有记载，最后耶利哥巨大的城墙就倒下来。And the the Jewish soldiers they just went straight in where they were and conquered the city. 呃，然后这个犹太的以以色列的士兵就通过这个倒下来的城墙就长驱直入，进攻攻取了这个城市。And then then after that was taken care of. 呃，然后到这个以后呢，这个事事情就处理完了。They went over to Ai， 然后他们就到了另外一个地方，这个地方就到了吉甲。And 爱、uh, 城、哦，爱城，爱城，到爱城。And、uh, Ai was just a little city. 呃，那个爱城是一个很小的一个城市， and、跟耶利哥不能比。And the people went and spied it out. Or they said this is going to be easy for us. 啊，当他们到爱城去派遣探子去探那个城市里面的虚实的时候呢，他们发现说，这个城市比这个耶利哥这个小很多，这里面很容易攻取。我们耶利哥的攻取，他很容易。And we just have to send a few few of our soldiers, three thousand soldiers, to go and take the city. So, 所以呢，我们只要做一件事，就是随便就派派一些士兵去攻取就好了。But you see. That was one mistake they made. 但是这是他们所犯的一个巨大的错误。They didn't ask God how to take it. 他们认为他们自己可以解决，没有去求问耶和华是不是可以攻取。But unbeknownst to them,、uh, there was、uh, something else that happened in Jericho. 呃、uh, ，他们是认为在耶利哥发生的经验就可以套用到爱城。God said Jericho will be totally destroyed, and don't any of you take any. Body from the from the city. Ah,、呃、当时这个耶耶和华跟呃这个约书亚，通过约书亚吩咐以色列百姓说：你们攻取耶利哥以后，要全部都一切都毁掉，什么都不能留留下，一样东西都不能留下。But, but there was one man who saw some big piece of gold and some silver and some nice clothes. 这个几百万的犹太人当中，只有一个人。他看到一些金银和一些非常漂亮的西装，不是就是这个衣服，好衣服。And and he he got greedy. 他就起了贪心，他想。So he took those things. 他就把这些好衣服啊、金银的就就就就留起来了，藏起来了。And he hid them in his tent. 然后他就藏在哪里？藏在他自己的帐篷下面。你那个后面不知道。他这个露露露营的帐篷下面，他就挖了坑，就把这些先埋在下面。Now here come the Israelites attacking Ai. 现在呢，这个以以色列人攻取了耶利哥以后，就到了爱城。And uh, um, when they attacked Ai, the people, the soldiers of Ai came out and attacked them, and they got scared, and the Jews started to run away. 哦，当他们来到这个爱城想去攻取的时候，没想到这个爱城的人反而攻出来、冲出来追杀他们，这犹太人吓坏了就开始跑。And some of their soldiers were killed. 以色列人就损失惨重。And oh, the Jews and Joshua and the, and the officers want to know what happened. 哦，这些约到那个时候，约书亚和这些以色列的长老就想知道到底发生了什么事。They, they, they, they had taken Jericho so easily, and Jericho is a big city. They 当年是当时是非常容易的解决了一个大城市，就是耶利哥。But here in this little little town of、uh, Ai, they were defeated. 但是他们在爱城反而是什么惨遭滑铁卢。And so,、uh, so God had to tell them, okay, first of all, somebody disobeyed me in Jericho. 所以。耶和华就跟他们说：“首先，你们在耶利哥的时候，有人违背我的命令。” And uh, uh, that was first. 哦、uh, ，这是第一个错。So they had to find out 
who it was that they disobeyed. So, the Jewish people then had to investigate who they were and who they were not. And so, eventually, they found it was Achan. Finally, they found it was Achan. And so, they had to kill Achan and his whole family and burn everything they had. 他最后他们要做什么事情？他们最后要把这个偷偷留下这个的这个以色列男人雅各门和他的家里的所有的人，最后都要什么？不但杀了，还要把他一切全部付之一炬。But I said that was one of the sins that they did. 呃，但就像我前面讲的，这还只是他们行的第一个罪恶。The other sin was that they didn't ask God. 第二件事情是什么呢？他们自说自话，自己去攻取爱城，没有问耶和华。They went in their own strength. 他们是靠自己的这个军力就去。And so they had to clear up their sin, and then they had to ask God, "Okay, now what should we do?" 最后他们必必须要做件事情什么呢？他们要把自己的这个犹太当中的罪恶，亚干和他家里的事情处理完了以后，然后来求问耶和华说：“现在下一步我们要做什么？” And if you look at the story in Joshua, you read the book of Joshua sometime, you'll get it. 如果大家去读约书亚记，你就会知道这个约约书亚记里面记载第七、第八、第六到第八章都记载这事。You see how God told them a special way that they had to take Ai. 啊、呃，这个这是一个很好的一个属灵的功课，是告诉犹太人你们要用什么样的方法来解决爱城的问题。So, so that that time when they when they fought Ai, it, it collapsed. Easily like Jericho did. Ah, 当这个当他们最后啊学了这一个啊功课以后，求告耶和华，耶和华说：“现在你们可以上次上去攻占。”后来他们就攻取了爱城。And you see, these Jewish Christians they were doing the same thing that the Jews had done way back in the time of Joshua. 现在我们回到加拉太书，就是当耶稣的死，这个现在这个教会的这个情况呢，以色列的以色列。啊，人当中的这些犹太教背景的基督徒，就跟当年的以色列人啊做的犯的是同一个错误。They were using their own intelligence. 他们是用自己的智慧和谋略。And uh, and trying to do God's work by the, the what they thought it should be. 他们用自己的努力和盘算来替神做事。So and every time any of the kings of Israel、uh, went out to fight. And didn't ask God ahead of time. It was disastrous. Uh, this. So, so, in history, you know, in the Bible, it is recorded that every time the Israelites did not trust God, every time they relied on their own resources, the result was the death of the nation. Now, come to today. Ah, we now go back to today. We Christians today have to watch out. We today, in our own church, we must be careful because it's just as easy for us. To do the same sin that the Israelites did way back there. 我们今天就是我们自己的教会里面也都一样，我们很容易去犯那些犹太人在历史上曾经犯过的属灵的错误。I'm a pretty smart person. 我是一个很聪明的人。So I, I I've been a pastor for such a long time. 呃，我做这个牧师这么多年了。I know how to I know how to to run churches. 呃，我很知道怎么样来这个这个召开一个教会。So we run into a little problem in the church. Why can't I figure out what to do? Oh, 当我们这么一个小教会里面，如果有小问题的话，像我这么伟大的牧师呢，应该随便就可以解决了。And if I can't do it, I can ask Michael to help me. He can do it too. 如果我不能解决，我叫 Michael 去处理，也应该没有问题啊。The thing is, if we were to do it that way, we would be doing exactly like the Jews did back there at Ai. 但是如果我们出于这样的自信，那我们做的事情就跟当年在爱城惨遭这个失败的犹太人会一一样的下场。We would be handling it a problem in the wrong way. 我们这个错误会是什么呢？就是我们用我们自己的，用一个错误的，靠自己的方式来处理啊、呃、这个属灵的问题。For for instance, as as long as I have been a Christian, as much as I have read the Bible, I still Don't know anything about the future. Uh, 比方说，我无论读多少年的圣经，我无论在教会里面待多少年，有一件事我不知道，就是将来下一秒钟、下一分钟要发生什么。And uh, but I do know that there is a God who knows completely about the future. 但是我只知道有一个人，他是知道，一切都知道，未来的所有都在他知道，那就是神。And so when a problem comes up in our church here. 
what I have to do, only the only thing I have to do is turn to God and say, Lord, you're going to have to handle this. I can't. 所以这个尽管历史不长，我们教会才四年，在这四年过程中，只要教会有任何的风吹草动，有什么事情，我们做的第一件事就先到神那里说：“主啊，我不知道所有的事，但是你知道。” You see, instead of so often, instead of going to God and praying for the problem, we immediately want to step in and correct it. 呃，很多时候我们做这样的，看起来。呃，好像对，实际错的，就是什么呢？我们没有先去求告神，等待在神的面前有神来指给,给我们指令。我们常常是马上凭着热情就去啊、呃，就去处理一些我们认为该要处理的问题。And、we want to show those people that are whatever they're doing that, that、uh, what is the wrong way and how they should do it right. 呃，很多时候我们想去纠正一些人的错误，认为你这样做是不对的，这样做才是对的。And we say within our hearts. Uh, if we don't correct this, man alive, the church in that pa- in the future is going to be terrible. 有时候我们会对自己讲说，哎呀，我们要是不去处理这个问题，将来我们是教区还这个教教会还得了？那一定是完蛋，那是教会就不得了了。That is, that is reasonable to human thinking. 呃，对我们普通人的常识来说，好像想起来这很逻辑啊，这个很有道理啊。We say that is common sense. 呃，我们常常会把它称为这叫常识啊。They say, but what we're doing, what we were doing, we be doing is that we would be taking control of the church into our hands. 但是我们要小心。Hands. 我们这样想这样做事的时候，我们常常是伸手就把教会拽在我们的手里，藏在我们的这个这个控制之下。And folks, your hands and my hands are not capable of handling God's church. 但是在座的每一个弟兄，每一个姐妹。你的手，我的手，没有一双人的手有能力去这个来来运作上帝的教会。See, we have to remember that Jesus is the head of the church, no one else. 我们永远都不能忘记，除了耶稣以外，没有人是教会的头。基督是教会的头。I am not the head of the church. 我不是这个教会的头。I'm just given a little job of preaching to you. Uh, each Sunday morning. 我在教会里就这么做这么一点工作，做什么呢？每个星期天，神要我讲一篇道。And because Jesus is is the head of the church, he is very much con, in control of each one of you. He's in control of each one of you, and in control of me too. 这个既然这这个基督是我们这个教会的头。那么他在教会里面每一个人的生命当中，每一个具体的每一个细节，他都。完全的掌控 ，and Jesus is in control of each one of us individually. 而且耶稣不是把我们当做一块，这个一一群人一起一起来处理，他是一个一个单个的来在我们生命当中完全的掌权。You and I can talk to him. 我们有这么一个呃这个特权可以跟神说话。But we can talk to him about the problem, but do not talk to other people about the problem. 啊、uh, ，我们可以到神面前把这个问题呈给神，但是我们不要去告到别人面前去告诉这些的问题。We have to leave the church in Jesus' hands. 所以我们要让教会留在呃这个有有神放在神的手里，而不是拽在我的手里。The important thing is not the problem in the church. 啊、uh, ，其实重要的不是在教会里面有什么问题。But how am I behaving before God? 啊、uh, ，重要的是我在神面前是什么样的态度。And, and that's the thing we have to watch all the time. 所以我们自己在神面前的言行才是重要的。Aiken didn't see any problem about taking that little bit of gold. 呃，这个看起来这个这个雅干他只是拿了这么一点点金金子嘛。But it caused him and his whole family to die. 最后，雅各和他的全家人都死了。And it caused about thirty some soldiers of the army of Israel to die. 啊，最后是在这个以色列人准这这这个损兵折将，死了很多的人。That's when we take the the problem into our own hands. 这就是当我们从上帝手里把这个掌握权试图要抢过来或者要弄过来的时候，会导致的这个后果。Now, Paul's view of Christianity was quite different from these people that were telling the Gentiles they had to be uh, uh, circumcised. Ah,、uh, we know Paul 
跟这些犹太教背景的基督徒所行所持的要行割礼的这些人的这个观点是完全不一样。You see, before he was a Christian, he was more zealous in Judaism than his peers. 呃，保罗说，他说我在从前比你们对我们这个祖宗的遗传和这个律法更加热心。You look at verse fourteen. You just read verse fourteen. 大家读了第十四节，大家看。And I was advancing in Judaism. Beyond uh, many of my contemporaries, among my uh, countrymen, being more extremely zealous for my ancestral traditions. 第在第十四节说，我又在犹太教中比我本国许多同岁的人更有长进，为我祖宗祖祖宗的遗传更加热心。You see, he was, he was. Uh, uh, I am a Jew. I will follow the law of Moses to my death. 呃，这个保罗那个时候是信誓旦旦，非常的这个呃，这个宗教的热情非常的高涨。他说：“我呢，要为我祖上的遗传，要为律法，这这个万死不辞。” And anybody who tries to change that, I am any Jew who tries to change that, I'm going to destroy them. 呃，每一个凡要改变我祖宗遗传下来的律法的话，就是我的死敌，我跟他不共戴天，我要把他毁掉。And so he was on his way to Damascus, and Jesus stopped him short. 这个这个保罗正在去大马色的路上，耶稣在路上拦截他。He saw Jesus alive. That was the first thing. 这个保罗先看见第一件事情，他是看见一个活着的耶稣。He saw Jesus dead on the cross. 他亲眼看耶稣钉死在十字架上。And he rejoiced about that. 而且他高兴的不得了，觉得很过瘾，钉死耶稣。But now he sees Jesus alive. 但是他现在亲眼看见活了的耶稣。And Jesus is talking with him. 而且耶稣亲自开口对他说话。And here he talks to Jesus. 而且呢，他也在跟耶稣对话。His whole Judaistic、uh, system collapsed. 整个保罗这个犹太教的根基就整个就垮了。All of a sudden, he had to accept this. Jesus' death had on the cross had been a sacrifice for sin. 然后他立刻的就看见这个真理，耶稣在十字架上的死成为赎人的罪的这个祭物。And the Judaistic sacrifices that they had done now were nothing in comparison. 那些在一千多、一千五百年来血流成河的动物，这些所献的祭一文不值，跟耶稣在十字架上所流的。And so all of a sudden you can see the whole Judaistic、uh, system had been replaced. By something else. 而且保罗立刻就明白一个道理，就是这个一千五百年的这个祭祀系统，犹太教的传统是被耶稣在十字架上的死和他的恩典完全的取代。And in verse fifteen that you read here, 我们看第十五节，我们刚才读的。He said, "God called him through His grace." 他说，神施恩召我。And and and he was amazed. When he says it was,、uh, he set me apart even from my mother's womb. 他居然说什么？他说把我从母腹里，在我母亲的肚子里的时候，他就把我分别出来。My mother、uh, believed in Judaism. 我母亲是信犹太教。She taught me Judaism. 她也教导我犹太教。And then、um, I have all my life. Followed Judaism. Ah, 我一生我前半生活的都是在跟随犹太教。But God had called me already back then. 但是神是在当我还没有出生的时候，在我母亲的肚腹里面的时候，他就啊把我分别出来。And I mean, why did why did God have to call me? 那他在想说，我怎么值得神要来招我吗 ？But He called me through His grace. 那神招我是因着上帝的恩典招我。It was pure grace that God called me. 是纯粹是神的恩典才神才呼召耶这个保罗的。And then and then he says, and then God was pleased. What's that word? 大家看第十六节，他说他乐意将他儿子，乐意就是神是乐意将他儿子启示给我。To reveal His Son in me. 神是很高兴的，把他的儿子启示在我心里。And、um, to Paul,、uh, Christi uh, Christianity meant Jesus in him. So, 对保罗来说
，基督教不是一个宗教，基督教是耶稣与保罗个人的。And we know that because Paul said it in some of his letters. Look over at Colossians. Ah, if we look at Paul's letter, another book, Galatians, Paul's letter, 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 Galatians, In whom God willed to make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. This Galatians one chapter twenty seven. He says what? He says God willed to make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. To Paul, this was a mystery. 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 对保罗来说，这是一种奥秘。To the Jews, God, Jehovah, was behind the curtain. 对犹太人来讲，他们天天到圣殿上去的人，上帝是躲在这个幔子的后面的。Only the high priest could go behind that curtain once a year. 只有以色列的大祭司一年一度。才可以进去一次，到这个幔子的后面去去朝见神。He had to make special sacrifices to be able to do it. 而且他要进去，他要去见神，他还要做一件事，他自己要做一个特别的这个赎罪祭的一个过程。But now the mystery is that Christ, who is Jehovah, uh, is in me. 这个奥秘是什么呢？现在这个这个耶和华曾经在幔子后面人不能见的这个耶和华，居然在我里面住在我里头了。This was wonderful to Paul. 这对保罗来说，这是非常奇妙，这个可喜的。There was no more curtain between him and 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 God anymore. 对保罗来说，他和神之间不再有幔子相隔。Now Jesus, the Son of God, was in him. 现在耶稣，上帝的儿子，居然住在保罗里头。This is why Paul's message was, I determined. And then you can find it in First Corinthians two two. 呃，如果你后面那有一节经文是在哥林多前书第二章第二节。He was saying, he was saying, I determined to know nothing among you except Jesus, Jesus Christ, and Him crucified. 保罗在更多前书二章二节，大家应该都会背这些经文。说，我因为我曾定了主意，在你们中间不知道别的，只知道耶稣基督，并他定十字架。To Paul, that's how important it was. I don't want to know anything among you. 对保罗来说，他说我在你们中间，我什么都不知道。我以前知道很多，我现在什么都不想知道。我只知道基督并他定十字架。Any, any, anything he says. If any of you want to want us to change the way we worship. 呃，如果说有人要来改变，说我们怎么样来这个敬拜的方式改一下。He said, "Paul, he says that's not important." 他说，对我来说这一点都不重要。All I want to know about in,、uh, in you is Christ and Him crucified. 啊、呃，他说我想知道的是什么？基督并他定十字架。我传讲的也是这个。And、um, but now you notice,、uh, he says.、Um, But Jesus Christ, in, in saying it, he says, Jesus Christ. Uh, 大家注意，留心到在哥林多前书二章二节里面，他说，我什么都不知道，我只知道什么，基督耶稣。Now he added the word Christ. 他在基耶稣后面前面加了一个基督。Sometimes when he was talking about Jesus, he just said Jesus. 呃，保罗的书信里面，有的时候他提耶稣的时候，他就叫耶稣了。But with Paul, it was very important. His 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 title of Christ was very important. Ah, in Paul's letter, everyone should pay attention. When he talks about Jesus, this Jesus title is very important. Christ was the one who initiated the process of salvation. Christ was the one who initiated the process of salvation. Christ was the one who initiated the process of salvation. Christ was the one who initiated the process of salvation. Christ was the one who initiated the process of salvation. Christ was the one who initiated the process of salvation. Christ was the one who initiated the process of salvation. Christ was the one who initiated the process of salvation. Christ was the one who initiated the process of salvation. Christ was the one who initiated the process of salvation. Christ was the one who initiated the process of salvation. Christ was the one who initiated the process of salvation. Christ was the one who initiated the process of salvation. Christ was the one who initiated the John, Paul was looking for the Messiah. Ah, Paul was also waiting for the Messiah. The Messiah is Jesus. And when the thing is, when the Messiah came, the Jews missed him. But is, very unfortunate, and sad thing is, when the Messiah, Jesus, really came, the Jews didn't miss him. And when, 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 when,
from in that light, he realized this was the Messiah that he had missed. 在当基督在大光中出现的时候，这个保罗立刻就认出，这就是我曾经跟他擦肩而过的死在十字架上的这一个，我苦苦等待的这个基督弥赛亚。The Messiah, the divine, the descendant of David. 这个弥赛亚是谁呢？是大卫的子孙。The Messiah, the son of the living God. 这个弥赛亚，基督是谁？是永生上帝的儿子。That one, the Messiah, Jesus, was revealed in Paul. 这一这样的一个弥赛亚，永生上帝的儿子，他居然现在被启示在保罗的心里。And so, you can see why Paul did what he did. 所以大家可以想象，后来为什么保罗是会有这么一个翻天覆地的变化，他的生命。With Christ in him, he was obliged to preach Jesus to the disciples, to the Gentiles. 所以在当耶稣基督启示在保罗的心里，并且耶和华住在他里头的时候，保罗是就变成了一个福音的勇士，他到外邦人当中把福音传给这个这个这个外邦人。He was not obliged to preach Judaism. To the Gentile, he 曾经是热心去传犹太教，他现在不是，他完全改变，他去传恩典的福音。It was just Jesus that had to be preached to them. 他传的唯独耶稣。So you see why Paul lashed out at the Judaizers. 所以保罗才会什么？保罗才会语气如此严厉的责备这些犹太教徒。Circumcision had absolutely nothing to do with salvation. 他说：“你们行割礼，跟你们得拯救毫无相干，毫无功效。It was Jesus only. 唯独耶稣才让你们得救。You see, and you just sang it, didn't you? 大家刚才刚唱了这首诗，耶稣，呃，唯独耶稣。A.B. Simpson, who founded this Christian Missionary Alliance, he knew this truth very, very well. 大家都听过叫一个宣道会，宣道会的奠基人叫 A.B. Simpson， 他就是或者中文翻译叫宣信。他这个他就是写的这个歌词。That's why he wrote this 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 hymn. 他相信他保罗所相信的福音，所以他才写了这首诗，叫唯独耶稣。Jesus only is our message. 啊、呃，耶稣。唯独耶稣才是我们传讲的信息。Jesus, all our theme shall be. 耶稣是我们这个永远的主题。We will lift up Jesus ever. 啊、呃，我们是要永远高举耶稣，唯独耶稣。Only Jesus will we see. 啊、呃，唯独耶稣是我们所看见、所相信和跟随的。And、uh, so. What is the message? That, what is my message saying? 那大家请问我讲了那么多，我今天在讲什么呀 ？Don't let anything get between Jesus and you. 你要万分的小心，不要让任何东西阻，怎么介入到你和耶稣的关系当中去 ？Jesus told us. He says, "I'm preparing places for you up there." 耶稣说。我在天上为你们预备一个住处。And if I prepare places for you, I'm going to come back and I'm going to take you up there. 他说，如果我为你们预备了住处，我要再来，我要接你们去，最呃，使得我在那里，你们也可以在那里。So when that time comes, we're going to be taken up there, and Jesus will come and say, "Here, uh, uh, Michael, uh, this is your place." 呃，当时候到的时候，耶稣要回来，他会说 ，Michael， 这是我为你预备的地方。Now do you like it? 呃、uh, ，你喜欢吗 ？Yes, I do. I do. <laughs> And uh, but the the thing is that we will know he made it for us. 我们知道他一定是好的无比。为什么？是上帝亲手为我们预备的地方，他一定是好的无比。And that happened because Jesus died on the cross. 之所以耶稣可以在天上帮我们预备一个地方，是因为他自己亲自的死在十字架。But you see what the Jews are doing. They were trying to bring something in between Jesus and the people. 但是这些犹太教背景的基督徒在做什么呢？他们试图在耶稣和基督和我们人之间要插进一样东西去。So always be careful in in your thinking every day in your thinking. Don't let anything come in between you and Jesus. 所以大家要小心，无论你做什么。你都不要让任何事来离间你和基督，和来阻挡你和基督之间的关系。Jesus is offering the world eternal life. 
And when the end of the world comes and everybody is taken out and the world is destroyed, then we will be up there in heaven and seeing Jesus face to face. But he wants you and me to be absolutely true to him while we're here on earth. 但是呢，他要让我们这个牢记一件事：当我们还活在这个世上的时候，这个世界还没有到最后一刻的时候呢，我们活着的人要对主忠心。Be true only to Jesus all your life. Don't let anything else come in. 我们一生中只对主忠心，而且呢，不能让任何一丝一毫的东西掺杂在我们和主之间的关系当中。You were saved by Jesus only. 我们只唯独靠耶稣的恩典，我们才得救了。no, only Jesus is in charge of your life. 只有耶稣, 唯独耶稣才做我生命的主宰. And so, always, whenever a problem comes, turn immediately to Jesus, Lord, will you please take care of this? 所以我如果生命中, 无论是屁大的小事, 还是大的不天塌下的大事, 我都会到主面前, 第一件事情我就到主面前说, 主啊, 求你, don't try to help Jesus correct his church. Don't try to help Jesus correct people. Just pray for them. Only he can correct. Let us pray now. And I want you to pray this. The people that you know who need Jesus. Pray for them. And, and leave them totally in Jesus' hands. He knows them. Remember, he chose uh, Paul when he, when he was still in his mother's womb. He knows them better than we do. There is nothing we can do to bring salvation to them. Only Jesus can do it. Jesus Christ died so that they would be saved. 但经绝绝律, 他是竭尽全力想要拯救这些世上的灵魂 So can't we trust him? 我们可不可以信耶稣呢? So let's pray for them now 我们的主的弟子，我们的主的弟子，我们的主的弟子，我们的主的弟子，我们的主的弟子，我们的主的弟子，我们的主的弟子，我们的主的弟子，我们的主的弟子，我们的主的弟子，我们的主的弟子，我
of Jesus only. And Jesus is only the message we preach. Only Jesus who saved us because Jesus Christ who died on the cross. Christ and Him crucified. This is the message that we believed. This is the message we put our hope and faith. And Father, we thank you that we carry this message to this world so that people will not follow us. The people will not follow the church. The people will not follow the Christianity. And the people will not follow biblical morality. A whole bunch of set of laws. But they would come to Jesus, have personal relationship with the Lord through Jesus Christ. We thank you. Thank you for this wonderful message that we heard and believed. Thank you for Jesus Christ who is the who 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 shed his blood for us on the cross, paying the price for our sins. Father, nothing else we needed. Nothing, nothing else. Only Jesus. And may we ourselves put our faith completely only in Jesus. At the same time when we walk in this grace of Jesus Christ, when we associate with our church brothers and sisters, when we um, interact with our people in the church, Father, we will not run ahead of you. We will not put our hand on your work. We will not take charge. We will not try to keep, take control out of you, out of, out of your hand for your church, for the problems that we run into in the church or in our personal lives. Father, we will not run ahead of you. We will not try to work for you. We, we will not uh, try to use our strength and intelligence to accomplish a spiritual work that Jesus only, only Jesus can do. Father, we thank you. Church, this church belongs to you because you purchased through your blood. And the only thing we do, just as your servant just preached, that the only thing we do, the only thing really matters is how is the relationship between me and you. Father, we thank you for this teaching, for this reminder, and thank you for 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 the uh, for the perfect peace we have whenever we are in a stormy, um, difficult, tough circumstances, that you are right there and be in complete charge of everything, every situation. We thank you, Father. We pray for those uh, our loved ones, our neighbors, our co-workers, our friends, even our enemies, into your hand. That Father, you will touch them in such a gracious and powerful way that those lost souls would be saved just as how we are saved father you will save them and uh, we put our faith in you that you desire to do it because you died for them you loved them so much that you will lay down your life for them thank you一个福音我们可以听我们可以传讲唯独耶稣只有耶稣是我们相信的也唯独耶稣是拯救我们的主啊这世界上有很多的宗教有很多的学说有很多的哲学有很多的谋略有很多的主义那都不能救我们无论
哪怕他们活得还不够完美，只要他们认识耶稣，在主耶稣基督里面得救，被基督的宝血所清洗，主啊，那才是得救的正途，得救的正道。感谢你，我们有这么一个美好的福音，主啊，也让我们在教会里面服侍的每一个基督徒弟兄姐妹同工，包括是这个讲道的牧师啊、呃，其他的这些这这个做出口的，我们都不把自己的手放在上帝的事情上。我们不呃不到基督的面前，到到神的这个这个宝座前来献燔火。我们是用基督耶稣圣洁的这个恩典的福音来做事。我们完全依靠基督，完全由神掌握。主啊，这是你的教会，你买了的，你用自己的血买了的，你用自己儿子的生命换来的。没有人拥有一丝一毫的所有权，教会的所有权，唯独归于基督。让我们永远不要忘记。Father, may we all remember the ownership of this church is our Lord Jesus Christ. It is yours. You purchased this church through your blood. You paid a tremendous price for that. And we are all your children. We are all your children and your servants. Thank you for this gracious gospel that Paul believed and we believe for Jesus' sake. Amen. Amen. Shall we sing this hymn again, Dad? <laughs> yeah, let's.